Hello everybody, this is Strange Gamer back to kick off the semi-finals. Oh, this is, this is so intense because we have two matches to decide our final two. We have Louth taking on Maximum Pyrus and then the big one, the clash of the tournament, Ultimate Dino Queen taking on Ultimate Dino King. <laughs> yeah, so I'm saving, that match is going second. We're going to do this one first. Louse taking on Maximum Pyrus. Alrighty then, up first for Louse we have an Alpha Kentrosaurus. Alpha Kentrosaurus was quite important for Louse to, in, in defeating Slifer Sky Dragon X in the quarterfinals. Will it help him defeat Pyrus in the semis though? The semi-finals was where Louse fell last time. Losing out to the hosts. As for Pyrus in the blue corner who defeated the hosts, we have a Shunasaurus. We definitely saw what this Shunasaurus can do, and it has definitely been mightily impressive for Pyrus in the knockout round. So Louse will have to watch himself. Watch himself. I think this is an in interesting match because even if Louse gets the lead, Pyrus's second Dino will have the type advantage over the Kentro, so Pyrus can easily strike back and then. He'll face you to he'll face your raptor, which is quite fragile. So if Pyrus gets if Pyrus gets off a um, super impact, then I think on your raptor, then I think Pyrus will win the match. Well, no surprise that Pyrus got to, gets the opening two hits because they have been quite jammy in this tour in the knockout rounds. But Captain Louse will strike back. Oh, that's a tie, but that will suit Pyrus because it's Ocean Panic time. And this might actually be this might actually guarantee a 1-0 lead for Pi Maximum Pyrus. Oh, no shockwave though. If the shockwave effect had activated, then I don't know actually, I think Kentrosaurus would have had a sliver of health. Okay. Okay, no it wouldn't have. And that is a 1-0 lead for Maximum Pyrus and exactly what they wanted. Because the fragile Eoraptor could either die easily to the Hydro Cutter or die to the Super Impact. Ooh, it's Megaraptor! Yes, it's Megaraptor getting revenge for me! Come on, Megaraptor! Come on, Eoraptor! You can do it! You get revenge! Okay, what move have we got? Ooh, it's a Hurricane Beat. That's good. <laughs> You're in for it now, Pyrus. I, I'm not biased in any way. It's not as if I'm root, root, rooting for Laos. Ooh, Laos gets the first, his first hit of the match. And there's the tie bombs. Ties will no longer favour Pyrus now. Well, unless they get Ocean Pack, then they will favour Pyrus. There's the defence boost, but Laos will have to be careful because that Hydro Cutter did get triggered. Ooh, but Hydro Cutter not be activated, and there's the tie, there's the tie bomb. Louse fighting back. There's the blunder type there saying bye bye to Hydro Cutter. Ooh, but the Eoraptor can say bye bye to a sliver of its health. Oh, that's another tie. Still no ocean panic though, so not do not the worst case scenario for Laos. Oh, the blunder type from the Shuno this time. And another hit from Pyrus. Can Pyrus get a 2-0 lead? Well, it won't be much of a 2-0 lead because the Shuno's on quite low health. The answer to that is no, but the Shunosaurus definitely did some damage. And one hit from this Lanzusaurus will give Maximum Pyrus a 2-1 lead and a solid position to win the match. I honestly think Maximum Pyrus is going to win the tournament. I think the, the, the turning point, I think, was that last 16 match. And I think that match might have set him up to win this tournament. But we'll just have to see because Ultimate Dino King and Ultimate Dino Queen aren't pushovers. Ooh, the Mega Raptor, well, the Eeyore Raptor getting off a hit. Oh, there's the tie bomb. 
ties will suit Laos now. There is a defense boost, but one super impact can change everything. Well, it won't change everything, it'll just extend Pyrus' lead. Oh, it doesn't go for it though. There's the tie bomb. I think defense boost is maxed up, so we won't be getting any more defense boosts. But Lauf is pulling this back. Oh my god, another hit from Eoraptor. Wow. Well, after a strong start from Pyrus, Lauf is pulling this back and has pulled back the lead. Well, has taken the lead, I should say. Oh, it's a tie! And that will 100% suit Laos because those bombs will explode, the Lanzusaurus will die, and Laos will have a 2-1 lead. But don't count Pyrus out yet because their third dino is Spectral Armor Gygus, which we haven't seen too much of. But we did see that Spectral Lancer, and I think, especially with Laos' third dino being Isosaurus, if Pyrus wants to win this match, I think they're going to need to get off a Spectral Lancer. Otherwise, it's going to be Laos in the final. But first, they got to get past this Eoraptor. Which they do soundly. Oh, m oh, never mind. Well, the poison won't kill it because poison doesn't kill. But it does mean that Eoraptor, one more hit and it's dead. And there goes that hit. Maximum Pyrus even in the score, and we're even Stevens as we go into the last clash. As for Laos' third dino, we have an Isosaurus. Wow, this has been a really good semi-final. I was a little bit like, ugh, not again, when Pyrus was getting off consecutive hits early on. But Laos pulled it back, and looking at it now, at the whole contact, it's been quite an even match. But it all comes down to this. And as I said, I think... If Pyrus wants to, for Pyrus to win this match, I think the Spectral Lance is going to need to activate. I mean, he could wear down Isosaurus's health, but but well, I, I'm 90% convinced that the bar will fill up before the Isosaurus dies. Wow, look at that! One Water Sword has decimated Gygus's health, and now Mouth is well, one attack away from in his place in the final, or two, well, two at the most, because those crits don't do as much damage, and there's the tie, and now Laos on the brink of, of reaching the final, one attack away. Oh, but Pyrus gets the hit, Pyrus not done yet, but look at that type of advantage then, one hit and a spectral lancer tie. Oh, but he won't get it! Laos gets the crucial, crucial hit. Big hit from Laos to deny the chance for Spectral Armor. And book his place in the final. Ooh, can Laos do it? Can he regain his title? Well, we're just, well, you're going to have to find out when the final pops up, aren't you? Uh, commiserations for Maximum Pyrus, because for a newcomer, they definitely did really well. And out of all the newcomers, they have been the most impressive. You know, they did really well. And I will give them a lot of credit. And I do hope to see them in future tournaments. Because they offered so much. They contributed so much to the tournament. And they did get a lot of good wins under their belt. So, you know, don't be too disheartened. You know, he did really well. And, you know, that match was tight. And as I said, if you had got the hit off on the Isosaurus. You know, we've got Spectral Armor off. And then anything could happen. So you would, you, you would just fell short this time, Pyrus. You just fell short, but on another day, might have won that match. <laughs> I like the see. I like the fact that the Mega Raptor comes in to help. It's like I'm getting my revenge. And yes, you better join the next tournament because I want my revenge, and, and I will not be denied. I'll, I'll enter you whether you like it or not. But anyway, that's enough blabbering about that. Now, it is time for the big one. Ultimate Dino Queen taking on Ultimate Dino King. Here we go, here we go. At first in the red corner, we have the Uteraptor. No love lost between the two. It's Queen versus King. Ooh. 
Although I do think Ultimate Dino Queen will have the edge in this match because this Utahraptor will be at a tight advantage against the Brachylophosaurus in the blue corner. But we have seen how impressive this Brachylophosaurus can be. I, I, I'm so pumped. I, I am so happy for this match. <laughs> The winner of this match will book a final appearance, taking on the former champ, Lex. Um, who would have a better chance against Laos between these? Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> I'd probably say maybe Ultimate Dino King would have a better chance against Laos. Yeah, off the top of my head, I think, yeah, King would have a better chance, but... Queen strikes first, but King gets the hit back. And that is Move Breaker, which is not affected by the type advantage. And King instantly even in the score. Oh, this is, this is Godzilla versus Kong right here. Don't, don't ask me which one's which. Oh, that's a tie. But Ultimate Dino King won't mind that because of the Move Breaker. Oh, oh, well, Brachylophosaurus is dead because the Utahraptor's going to get off a Mayfly and Ultimate Dino Queen's going to get a 1-0 lead. Alrighty then, as for Ultimate Dino King, second Dino, we have a Super Talarurus. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh, we haven't seen too much of this guy in the knockout rounds. It's mainly been Alpha Acrocanthosaurus doing all the work. But Ultimate Dino Queen King's gonna need it to do some work here if he wants a chance of beating his female counterpart. Um, not good. Not good, not good for Ultimate Dino King, that. Pretty much half of Tyler Roberts' health is gone straight away. However, that is good for Ultimate Dino King. Okay, that's twice. Ooh, a crit from Ultimate Dino King. Fighting back. Ooh, and is awakening time. But I don't know if this will help him out at this point. Well, he gets the hit, but it's kind of wasted. I mean, a tie would have been better because then Apistacilla Claudia would come in and... Ultimate Dino King would have a chance to do major damage to this thing. But Ultimate Dino Queen still has a decisive lead as her Pissacilla Claudia comes in. And watch out for that shockwave because if Queen gets off multiple shockwaves, this match will be over quicker than, quicker than you can say Ultimate Dino King. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, that's a tie. Well, Ultimate Dino King needed that last time to kill the Utahraptor. Ooh, here comes a tiebreaker from the Talarurus. Talarurus not beaten yet. Can Ultimate Dino King pull this back? Well, tiebreaker's useless now because Aqua Vortex was triggered. Oh, don't, oh, don't do this random number, Jen. Just this one match. I want you to be perfect. I want you to give me, give us some good gold. But no, you just got to do this, haven't you, random number generator? You just, you just have to, like, pause, kill the hype of the match by being a jerk. Come on. Speed up, speed up, speed up, suspense, susp Okay. Okay, that was a five. And that's a two. So we, ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie. Which means the Aqua Vortex will activate and kill the Talaroros. And give Ultimate Dino Queen a 2-1 lead. But Ultimate Dino King still has his ace in the hole, the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Which is basically the main reason why he's got this far. But can it get him over the line this time? It will be tough, but I think it can still do it. It can still pull it off. However, the key is to not let this Epistasy Lacordia get too many hits off. Because if it gets a hit, Shockwave will activate. And that means they'll get another hit. Oh, that's a tie. 
Not the best result for Ultimate here, but at least Ultimate King. Well, this isn't exactly what Queen wants, so a tie. Ooh, but Ultimate Dino King getting off the head. Well, Dino Stuffer would have stopped that crit anyway. Oh, Aqua Vortex being triggered again. There's the attack boost. How crucial could that be? Big hit from Ultima Dino King, that. Pulling him back. And what a match we've had so far. It's been relative, It's been quite even, unsurprisingly. Okay, as for Ultima Dino Queen's third and final dino, we have a super, super duper Ragasaurus. <laughs> Can Queen make more use of the Awaken mode than King did? We'll have to see. Oh, I'm so excited. It all comes down to this. Who will join Laos in the final? And who will face Pyrus for the third place crap? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. There will be a third place playoff as well, so... That won't be the last time we see Maximum Pyrus. Oh, another hit from Ultimate Dino King! I think... Oh, I think... Oh, I think King's gonna win this. Oh, the poison as well. Okay, Queen needs to get the next hit. Oh, she does! It's a hit from Ultima Dino Queen. It's a light recovery. It will heal the poison. It's awakened in time next round. Can Queen snatch this? It all comes down to this. If Queen gets the next hit, she will win. If Ultima Dino King gets the next hit, then, well, he will win, but he'll set himself up to win. Oh, that's exactly what Queen wants. Well, she wants a hit, but... Oh, Ultimate Dino King got the hit! <laughs> oh, what a twist! Ultimate Dino King getting the hit, getting the poison, which will not kill it, and getting the light recovery, and I think that might just do it. Oh, he's done it! Ultima Dino King has defeated Ultima Dino Queen and has advanced to the final to have a showdown with Laos. <sighs> and breathe. Oh, what a thriller of a match that was, wasn't it? Yes, let's have a look at the format now. Yes, that is our final. We will see Ultimate Dino King going up against Laos. And this was actually the final match for Ultima Dino King's tournament. So it is basically a rematch between these two. And these two definitely have history because in my very first tournament, Laos defeated Ultimate Dino King. And then in Ultimate's tournament, Laos won once again. So Ultimate Dino King has a rotten record against Laos, while Laos has never lost to Ultimate Dino King. So all the signs go towards Laos being the favourite in this matchup. <laughs> but we'll just have to see. And yes, there will also be a third place playoff between Ultimate Dino Queen and Maximum Pyrus. To see if who can finish their tournament on a high. But yeah, that is the semi-final. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you didn't enjoy that, why are you here? And stay tuned for the final video of this tournament. Where we will have the third place playoff match and the big finale. And until then... This is Stranger Gamer, signing out.